Hello and welcome to Let's Make Tracks. This is TT120 Rambler. I'm Peter and this will be our March update for 2024. So let's run the intros and we'll see what's going on in the world of TT120. First up, we have the uh, Hornby HSTs have finally been released. So the Intercity Swallow, GWR Green and the uh, BR Blue and Grey liveries have all been released as train packs. Unfortunately we're limited to the uh, Swallow livery Mark 3s at the moment. Um, all those are available, the rest are coming soon. Uh, which brings me on to another point of the HSTs. Uh, just today, as far as I'm aware, Hornby have updated their website to include the next train set, which is a HST train set. Now, I had originally speculated in my uh, catalogue ramble that the livery for this train set was going to be uh, LNER Red and White. But upon inspection of the listing today, it's been marked as Era 7, which puts it firmly in the tops era. So th there is strong evidence to believe that this will be a, another blue and grey tops version of the train set. Now this works for multiple reasons. One, it adds to the Mark 3s that are already in the pipeline, so you can increase your consists to a respectable length. And also, if they had gone ahead with the LNER red and white version, they would have had to have, well, I assume had to, they would have needed to release more Mark III's in the red and white livery. Now, this wouldn't have been a problem, except it does mean you have to buy the set to buy the separate Mark III's, unless you just want some random red and white Mark III's. I don't know what floats your boat. So, the livery change, I in my opinion is a smart move by Hornby as far as a sales perspective goes because you don't want lots of random red and white Mark 3s knocking about on the website that no one wants to pick up after a while because they don't want the train set because they've already got the Swallow or the BR Blue and Grey or the GWR Green. So, links are available in the description for pre-orders and everything that is available now. Okay, so moving on to uh, some of the 3D printers that have uh, stepped into the TT120 picture recently. Now this first one isn't exactly a new entrant, he's been around for a number of weeks so far. Inoxin models, with their fabulous range of terraced houses, shops, the signal box and quite notably the crooked pub that got quite a bit of publicity a few years ago when it was torn down and had to be rebuilt by the owners. So these models, I only have the signal box to hand, but these are fantastic. And this is just looking at the outside. That's fantastic doesn't even cover what's going on inside. Ooh, don't want to break the thing. Now don't get me wrong, these these can be quite delicate with the amount of lever frames and everything else going on, particularly the lever frames, they're quite skinny as you can probably imagine. But the amount of detail on this is extraordinary. I mean, to get something like this just in double O is impressive, but for TT120, and I believe he does this in Engage as well, I'd have to double check, but this is a superb little model and I'm very very impressed and if this is the standard that the rest of his buildings are going to carry then I'm already a committed fan to Inoxin and I will be getting some more of his bits and pieces uh, with uh, 
my folding layer, I'm particularly interested in all the terrace buildings. So I need to build up the middle a bit, but we'll come back to that at a later date. And our newest 3D printer to step into the fold is um, Copper Mine Miniatures Vehicles. So this website has a fantastic range of uh, 3D printed vehicles, unpainted obviously, with a range that varies from cars, vans, lorries, tractors, and one vehicle that particularly stood out to me was the Dennis 1984 fire engine. Now I, re I have fond memories of these fire engines, not because I remember seeing them around, but from uh, old TV show. From an old TV show I used to watch when I was younger, London's Burning on BBC. And the uh, Dennis fire engines were used quite heavily there because of all the accidents and the stunts they had to perform. So the only fire engines they could get hold of were the older models. So I'm particularly interested in picking up at least two of those fire engines. So uh, in Oxin, if you are by any chance watching this, I need a fire station. I need a fire station that can fit two of these fire engines, preferably in the doors. Because um, I'm torn between doing the old favourite, the old favourite of the uh, model railway builder, the uh, the burning house scene with the. I forgot my words, but I can't talk again. Cotton wool. Got a little LED. And you wrap some cotton wool around it, a bit of orange in it, you know, fire. The burning house scene. You, you know the one. If you've been to model railway shows or exhibitions, you, you should know the one. So, there's that. Or, of uh, what I'm thinking, fire station open day. So there's no cliche disaster scene. But you do have two little fire engines sticking out at the front door. The light's going, you've got open day so you've got table well obviously this wouldn't be involved in the kit this would be extra you'd have to add but you know a fire station open day I'm, I'm pretty sure they did quite a few of those back in the 90s I know I've been to one or two uh, fireman Sam years there you go I'm probably putting a lot of people off here but that's that's my way of thinking anyway fire station two open bay doors half put the fire engines in there put little lights in the top little crowd of people Obviously, firemen and women. Open day. Nice little scene. No disasters. So, someone, please, fire station. I need a fire station because I need these fire engines. Okay. So, I think that's us all caught. Oh, back to Hornby. We have finally been given a date for the uh, 2024 launch. I forgot what year it was. 2024 launch of the newer TT120 products. Now, the HST train set that I already mentioned, I can only assume that that will be highlighted in some fashion during this event on the 2nd of April. And hopefully we'll get some images to confirm the livery and, well, I suppose just the livery really. We have everything else. We have a loco number what's in the set so literally we just need the livery and hopefully we will get some updated liveries on models we already have new tooled models maybe some surprises who knows i can only speculate at this point but it is very exciting considering some of the negativity that's been floating around with tt120 recently and the i'm not going to lie the slight disappointment of the anniversary event last year so I have high hopes for it considering it's a launch they should be going big so re-liveries new items and surprises please Hornby please okay so that's everything for TT120 if that's all you were here for you are now excused personal news for myself um, you may or may not have noticed the jacket I am now a volunteer at the Bluebell Railway, the first standard gauge heritage railway 
in the UK at least. Maybe the world? Definitely the UK. I'm not sure about the world though. But yeah, I, I don't do anything fancy. Uh, it's uh, more of an admin kind of role to help me with my career as well. So two birds, one stone. I'm assisting the railway, plus getting a little bit more experience for my own career. So there's that for me. Um, I'm usually tucked away in an office, but I mean, if you by any chance catch me down at the Blue Bell Railway, please by all means say hello. I don't bite. And I think that's pretty much it, really, for March. Yeah. So, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel quite a lot. It makes YouTube think that people are interested in my videos. And it pumps them out to more of an audience. So, I have noticed quite a few of you watch my videos, but more of you are not subscribed than are subscribed. So, please, if you're a regular viewer here and you're not subscribed, please, please just hit the button. You can even turn off the notifications so that I'm not bothering you. But please, if you could help me out, that would be fantastic. Also, hit that like button. And if you want any more uh, more immediate updates without me, uh, without having to wait for me to upload a video like this one, then uh, consider following me on Facebook. Uh, Let's Make Tracks TT120. And also uh, the Facebook group, TT120 Showcase and Share. Okay, that's everything for March. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys again very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.